Aiguille, France, established in 1830. La mandoline swing. Hello and welcome to the technical presentation DVD for the mandolin swing. We would like to congratulate you on purchasing this professional utensil and thank you for your trust in us. Chapter 1. Presentation of the mandolin swing and its different components. A double horizontal blade, one straight side and one serrated side. A double Julienne blade, 4 mm and 10 mm. The food receptacle and its food pusher. The mandolin swing has one folding upper foot and can be easily stored. A non-skid coating covers the feet base to ensure a secure and steady use. The mandolin swing can be used either directly on a working surface or above a container. Firstly, here's how to adjust the cutting thickness using the support upper plate. After unlocking the tightening knobs on the side of the mandolin swing, you can adjust the height of the plate and therefore also the cutting thickness. The support plate lever helps you to do this. Then, lock the plate in place by tightening the two knobs. In order to define the parallel cuts, to cut slices or crinkles, you have one double horizontal blade with one straight side and one serrated side. We would remind you that these blades are very sharp and should be kept out of children's reach. Handle them with caution. Choose the cut, slice or crinkle with the chosen side facing up the mandolin swing's handle, like so. The horizontal blade is to be inserted in the mandolin swing on the left side. A double rail guides the blade for perfect insertion. This blade should be pushed all the way in. A soft snap will confirm the complete insertion. To remove the straight blade, press the small pusher on the side of the blade. If you want to cut vertically, you have a double Julienne blade. This is always used in combination with a straight blade. Be careful as they are also very sharp. It is important to pick the comb up by the appropriate grip, like this. Choose the cut with the chosen side facing up. The double Julienne blade is to be inserted in the mandolin swing on the right side. A double rail guides the blade for perfect insertion. A click will confirm the complete insertion. Use both hands to remove the Julienne blade like so. Here's the food receptacle. It slides on these two rails and so guarantees a path for regular and safe cutting. Here's the container where you put the food. Here's the pusher. You can see that it's equipped with three prongs holding the food and a spring guaranteeing the fruit or vegetables are cut completely. After having adjusted the mandolin swing for the cutting you wish to do, place the food in the food receptacle. When you push the food pusher down on the food to be cut, the prongs penetrate it to prevent it from rolling away and the spring applies constant pressure on them. You can then cut away with a simple to and fro movement. The pusher's central rod shows you the level of the product remaining in the food receptacle. Chapter 2. The different cuts. We're going to show you different cutting techniques which you can perform with a mandolin swing. For an even easier cutting, dampen the upper plate before cutting. Slices with different thicknesses straight blade. Julienne cutting into sticks. Julienne blade.
the waffle cut. Here's some advice to make perfect potato waffles easy. The technique requires you to use the serrated blade. Firstly, adjust the cutting height to a minimum and lock the support upper plate. Secondly, after having placed the product in the food receptacle, make a first movement, pushing it down. Bring it back, rotate it a 1 8 turn, and push down on the blade again. Repeat this operation, taking care to alternate these two positions until all the vegetable is cut. And here's the result. Chapter 3. Care. The whole of the mandolin swing is dishwasher safe. Wipe the mandolin swing after cleaning and store it in a dry place. For detailed cleaning, the pusher can be taken apart. There is a cap at its very top, which releases the shaft separating the ergonomic top from the lower interior plate and freeing the spring. In order to release the cap, it must be loosened with a turn to the left. The stainless steel needles cannot be removed. After cleaning, reverse the operation to assemble all pusher parts. Examples of cuts using the different techniques we've seen.